DM Fam. I am the hybrid manager for the corporate hybrid R&D team. Prior to me starting at Lenovo, Boys and Girls Club was just a local volunteer project that I was always working with and just being engaged within the community, working with the kids and just seeing them grow. I mean, they're so smart as is and given the opportunities to kind of start this early career conversation and seeing what it's like at such an early age was what I wanted to be able to give back to them because looking back at the opportunity, we never had that when I was their age, right? Um, so being able to see that from a different perspective and work with them now that I'm in this role kind of helps see that too. And we were looking to revamp the culture, you know, and in a different perspective from the, the ground up and um, trying to see how it is that employees view the culture here. So we picked up the project and each month was um, directly related to one of the pillars that we have. And then we thought, well, everyone loves working with the Boys and Girls Club. I've always had great experience working with them all throughout my career and also prior to Lenovo too. And so we reached out, got engaged with the local Wake Forest Club first to host kind of a big STEM day here. So we had about 80 students from the local Boys and Girls Club on site kind of had a full tour of the campus so they could see what it was like day in, day out. And we had different rotations set up that was really capturing the message of STEM. And then the, the kids could experience that throughout the day as well. So we had things such as they're launching a portal that was specific to building out VR and AR. We had a tour of our Building 7 AR VR lab as well. We did a couple of uh, projects on the side with them. And then at the end of the day, we just had everyone wrapped together from both the sales team and non-sales together. So it was nice seeing everyone together on that platform. And I remember the morning of the event and the timelines that we had set, the, uh, the school bus of kids arrived about an hour earlier than when they were supposed to. So in my mind, there's about 80 to 100 kids just running around campus. <laughs> we didn't know, right. I'm just imagining the worst at this point. And of course, I send out an email to all the volunteers saying, hey guys, just a head up, heads up. Um, the kids kind of showed up a little bit earlier than expected. We'd we'll love to have you guys out here and just entertain them and talk to them for the time being until we get started. And immediately, within 30 minutes, everyone was there ready to rock and roll. So the feedback from the first STEM Day event that we did with the local Boys and Girls Club was such a huge hit. I mean, the kids loved it. Each of the volunteers came out. We had a great turnout. And at the time, Intel was co-sponsoring the event as well. So it was a good partnership for the both of us. Um, we're looking to bring it back and do it annually. So we're hoping to do it every single year. Um, tentatively scheduled for March right now. And we hope to kind of make it even bigger. Maybe we'll rotate through some of the other Boys and Girls Club, not just Wake Forest, maybe engage Durham. So we want it to, to, to grow as we continue and hopefully turn it into an annual event that we can bring back every year. I really think in the moment while we were planning it, I don't think that I could imagine the event being the way that it was or as successful as it was. I mean, we were focusing on so many different pieces and moving parts and getting the right folks engaged that by the time that we got to the event, I felt like we really pulled it off. And it, it wasn't something that I could have done by myself. It was the fact that I had the support of so many people around me and then they played a hand in kind of bringing that forward. Um, and the fact that we did it ourselves, right? It wasn't something that um, leadership or certain levels of management had to get involved in. It was something that at the time I was still a rep that we were able to do.